You ever dated a guy who just couldn't get over his ex-girlfriend? I mean, he doesn't seem to stop talking about her. You might even see some pictures he still has of her with him. Look, it's infuriating, right? And you know you need to get him to forget his ex. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm gonna show you how to make him forget his ex for good. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from datingfire.com and datingadviceguru.com. Welcome back to the dating and relationship secrets you need to know. Now, unfortunately, most guys find it very difficult to get over a girlfriend that they were really into. Part of the problem is that he probably didn't grieve for the relationship enough when it ended. But the other part is that if she was the one who broke up with him, he probably feels like there's unfinished business. So make that step number one. Find out who broke up with who in that relationship. If he's still hung up on her, chances are she had to have broken up with him. Now the next step for you is to get as much information about the breakup as you possibly can. You gotta find out exactly what her reasons were for doing it. Find out how long it's been since he last saw her. Yeah, that one's a big deal. And especially important is finding out if he still sees her from time to time. You gotta know that one up front. Otherwise, you're gonna, you're gonna have a hard time getting him to forget about her. This is gonna take a little effort on your part, but it's not really that difficult. You just have to know how men think. And of course, that's why I'm here, right? Now, the next step, and this is related to what I just said a moment ago, is that you gotta find out if he's still in contact with her and still talking to her regularly. You might assume that she's out of the picture, but the fact is that he won't necessarily admit that he's still talking to her. And if you're gonna stand a chance, you've gotta know. You don't need a snoop, but you do need to know what's what and what's up between them. The first place you gotta check is social media. If you see any of his posts on her page or vice versa, you can assume they're still communicating and they're still in contact. Another place you gotta check is on his phone. Yes, this is where things are gonna get a little bit controversial, so hold on to your butts. Some people would say that you need to respect his privacy and not snoop. I'm not telling you to snoop, but if you get the opportunity, you gotta check. You gotta make sure for yourself. You gotta be, well, one of our famous presidents once said, trust, but verify. There's nothing wrong with you protecting yourself and making sure you know exactly what's going on. After all, when it comes right down to it, if he has major commitment and trust issues because of her, you've gotta know this. And you need to have a way to get past them because helping him to heal is actually helping both of you to succeed in love. So again, I'm not telling you to be snoopy or sneaky, but you do need to lean in to find out what's going on with him. And if he's not telling the truth, don't punish him for it. This one's gonna be tricky, but you have to hear me out on this. If you use his lie to shame him, you run the risk of him losing interest in you and trust in you and thinking that you are the evil one. Instead, just know that his not being truthful is actually a sign of how stuck he is and he needs help getting over his ex. You're probably hanging in there wanting to go further, but you're also afraid because you're not sure if he'll be able to meet you halfway and you might be right. So make sure you use the strategies, these strategies with your eyes open, okay? And here's another step, be patient. Resolve at the start to be as patient with him as possible. Anything worth having is worth waiting for. If you know that he just broke up with her and you're just waiting in line to jump in and grab him, well, be careful because he could be rebounding. Give him some time that he needs to mourn and be sad and to at least get over her a little bit. He may not be available for a while, which also leads me to the next step. Hey, are you having problems in your relationship right now? Are you wondering if he really wants to be in the relationship? A lot of women come to me wondering what the roadblock is that stops them from true love. I finally made a quiz that can help you get past your roadblock. And that's at datingfire.com forward slash help me Carlos. Go take that quiz right now and that or just click the link you see down in the description below. All right, next step is be a friend and support him, but not too much. You gotta make sure that you show him you care enough to listen to him and offer support, but don't always be there as a shoulder for him to cry on because most guys will abuse this. And if he makes a move on you just to revalidate his lost self-esteem, well, you know, that's just not your job. Next step is find every opportunity you can to stay in his life. 
Mind you, I'm not saying that you should sacrifice all your free time and energy to winning this guy over, far from it, but you gotta make sure you can keep your finger on the pulse of his emotions. As he starts to heal and you notice he's letting go of her, you need to be there ready to swoop in. Yes, ultimately you gotta know when to stop giving time and go grab the prize. The trick here is that you have to balance it so that you don't end up in the friend zone. Don't let things get too platonic. Don't play the game of trying to be just like one of the guys. Stay sexy, keep flirting with him. And in the back of your head, you should at least be planning to date other guys in the meantime for yourself. Next step is avoid emotional triggers. Be sure you don't accidentally remind him of her. Don't, you gotta try to avoid perfumes that she wore. Don't wear clothes that look too much like things that she used to wear. Avoid movies that he's seen with her. Definitely stay away from restaurants where they ate at together. You even have to find out more about his previous patterns with her. If they used to go to the mall or to certain stores or yard sales every weekend, you gotta know that and you gotta avoid it. Next step is you got to create your own memories. Now you need to start creating memories to replace the ones he has of her for the obvious reasons, right? Do things with him that are highly emotional charged, especially if you can get his adrenaline going. This is really important because that gets his excitement going and it will start connecting him to you. Show him that he can have fun without her and he's going to start to forget her a whole lot faster. Hey, you know what? Most women know that you gotta have information on how the other side works to win in this relationship game of all things. So go right now and make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications to get these videos every week. Do it now, subscribe and get the notifications. All right, what's the next thing you gotta do? The next step is you gotta not tie him down too quickly. Be sure you give him plenty of freedom right now because he's probably itching to experience a little bit of a single life again, especially if he was the one that broke up with her. Let him work out his issues through what I call singles therapy, if you know what I mean. Next step is to flatter him and compliment him to make him help him feel better about himself, especially with guys that were broken up with, but the woman broke up with him. Don't do this with any kind of expectation of reciprocation though. Just be generous, be nurturing, give him a good feeling about himself. He might feel a little bit worthless right now and his confidence is probably in the crapper. So you have to help him a little bit build his self-image self back. You may even slip a flirty suggestion in there that he might be able to win you if he gave it a shot. That's how you start to hook him. Next step is don't try to fix him. Don't take on the role of his therapist. If he's got issues, maybe he does want to go to a therapist for that, but you can't allow yourself to be pulled into this whole thing as his relationship counselor. It's not your burden. Don't let him dwell in negativity around you either. You'd be better off finding a new guy to start all over again than deal with a guy that's down in the dumps and a Mr. Mopey. The next step is don't talk about her. Yeah, there's no reason that you need to discuss her at all. If he's bringing her up a lot and it's not him just venting or getting it out of his system, you need to change the subject and shut that conversation right down. Don't do it too harshly, give him the chance to, give him, just give him a little bit of chance to get that main point of what he wanted to say out, but don't let him dwell in negativity and don't let him ramble either. Just redirect it into something positive about this moment and forget the past. And you might also want to hold on to your butt for the next step that I'm about to tell you. The next step is destroy her. Look, all's fair in love and war, right? I mean, the truth is if she was so smart, she wouldn't have dumped him. So right away, you have to make sure you never give her too much credit. Now, I'm not saying you need to slander her either. You don't want to go into that territory. That could probably backfire on you if he still has positive feelings for her. But feel free to point out all of her shortcomings. Remind him of all the negative stuff about her in a positive way. This includes bringing up their breakup on occasion so that he remembers exactly what happened. Don't let him go back to the memories of the relationship. Make him remember the actual breakup, how she hurt him, and get him to talk about her negative qualities as much as he wants to. This is gonna help him get past her much, much faster. Ultimately, you have to help him get closure. He has to put an end to this chapter of his life so that he can move on, so that he can put her back in the past. He has to see that his ex really wasn't that big a deal. And if he even needs to meet up with her so that he can vent his frustrations and feelings to her, 
so be it. You're there to help him move on. You're not going to spend all your time doing this, of course, right? But if it's worth it to you, it might make sense for you to stick around and help shepherd the process a little bit, help guide him through it. You can be there to help him form a new view of you as he forgets about her. But never take it for granted that a guy is just going to feel attracted to you the way you feel attracted to him. He needs to literally see it with his own eyes. In the end, it's going to come down to this. Does he feel that connection between you two? Interest can be won back again. You can re-spark the romance, and there's a very definite skill to making that happen. You can learn this skill of making men feel this level of attraction for you, and you can learn it in just a couple of hours. Winning back his attention and knowing how to keep it is one of the skills that many women just never never figure out. They never understand. There's a simple psychology to how men fall in love and that same psychology is how you can even win his love back if you've lost it or you're trying to get that interest from a guy who's still getting over his ex. Wherever you are right now, if you're ready to get him, I can show you how. First of all, take my quiz at datingfire.com forward slash win him back. If he's lost his attention or you're trying to get his attention away from some other woman that's just not right for him or he's grown colder or he seems disinterested or distant, there is something you can do. Find out how to do it at datingfire.com forward slash win him back. Hey, before you run off on a new video, if you're new here or even if you're not, do the big three. Make sure you, number one, like and subscribe. You got to get these videos every single week. Number two, turn on notifications. Click that little icon next to the button, the subscribe button, so you get notified when I release the next video coming soon, <laughs> as soon as next week even. If you're already subscribed, make sure you share with somebody that you know. Spread, this wor spread the word about what I'm doing here so that women everywhere can start getting the success that they deserve. And number three, comment below. Do you agree with these tips? Is there another video you want? And leave me a comment if you'd like a part two to this or if there's other videos or subjects you want me to cover. I do try and respond to as many comments as I can each week. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo. As always, live and love with passion.